This is Math 142 practice final. This is question number seven. And for question number seven, we are solving this. We're supposed to find exact values. And we know our answer should be in the zero to two pi range. So uh, let's work to solve this. First thing I'm gonna do is subtract five from both sides. Divide by the four. And now I have cosine squared, so I'm going to square root both sides. And if I square this side, don't forget to bring a plus or minus in. Square root of 3 is square root of 3. Square root of 4 is 2. So cosine of x over 2 equals plus or minus root 3 over 2. So let's figure out what x over 2 could equal. So uh, cosine's width. So I'm looking for what's a positive or negative root 3 over 2. So I have all those possibilities. So pi over 6, 5 pi over 6. Seven pi over six, eleven pi over six. But these are not the x values, right? These are x over two. So I'm going to multiply both sides by two to to get it just in terms of x. And so notice if I do this, um, that'd be two pi over six, which is which is pi over three. By multiplying by two. Basically, I'm, I'm having the uh, denominator. So this would be 5 pi over 3. This would be 7 pi over 3, etc. Great. Now, all those work, but there is one more piece. Remember, my answers have to be between 0 and 2 pi. So if I think about 2 pi, that's the same as uh, 6 pi over 3. So anything that's bigger than 6 pi over 3, I'm going to throw out because it kicks me out of that range. So there are my answers right there.